tagging notes and the send to OneNote tool. When you have a real notebook in your hands, you may use things like post-it notes or paper flag to tag content that you want to remember. Unfortunately, when you're on a computer using OneNote, a post-it note or a paper flag isn't going to do any good. However, you can use tags. OneNote 2013 has a tagging feature so that you can mark important content that's on your pages. There's a long list of tag types so that you can tag text, video, audio, images, tables and everything else easily. To tag content or objects in your notebook, go to the Home tab and click on Tags in the Tags group. In the box that says To Do, Important and Question, click on the downward arrow. This list shows all the tags that you can use. Now go to your notebook and select the content you want to tag. Just highlighted this text here. Now I can go to home. And I can tag this as anything I like, such as discuss with manager. You can see the icon beside it lets us know that it's tagged. Let's tag some more things in our notebook. I can go back to the image that we inserted earlier. Select the image. Go to the Home tab, click on the drop down next to Tags and click on Source for Article, for example. That will show a tag next to it. Now let's say we have a lot of things in our notebook tagged and we want to find our tagged content. Under the Home tab, click on Find Tags. The Tag Summary pane will appear on the right. You can see the items we've tagged, both the Discuss with Manager tag and the Source for Article tag. In the Group by Tag section, you can select how you want to view the tags. OneNote will group your tags as you specify them here. You can also search for tags by clicking the downward arrow in the search section. You can also create a summary page that lists your tags. Just click the Create Summary Page button. This creates a new page with all the items that you've tagged on it. The Send to OneNote tool has been improved in OneNote 2013. You can use it to clip and save a portion of the screen you're viewing, but you can also use it to send important information from one program to another, or to take quick notes. The Send to OneNote tool opens with OneNote. However, if it doesn't, you can turn it on by going to the View tab and clicking the Send to OneNote tool button. It's shown at the bottom of the screen here. As you can see, you can take a screen clipping, send data to OneNote, or create a quick note. Screen clippings are another phrase for screen captures, or snapshots of your screen. For example, if you're looking at a page on Microsoft Internet Explorer, you can take a screen clipping of that page. Here's how to do it. Let's open up a page in Internet Explorer. If you want to take a screen clipping of this page, we click on the OneNote tool in the taskbar, and then click on Screen Clipping. The screen will have a haze over it. Use the crosshair cursor to drag over the portion of the screen you want to clip. When you release the mouse, you'll see this window appear. Choose where you want to place the screen clipping and then click Send to Selected Location button. It will now appear as a new page inside OneNote. You can also use the OneNote tool to send data from one program to OneNote. When you do this, OneNote will assume you want to print out of the file so it won't be attached. First, choose the data you want to insert. It might be a Word file, for example. Then go to the OneNote tool and click on Send to OneNote. You'll then see this window again. Choose where you want to insert a printout of the file and click OK. As you can see, it's added a new page for the document that we imported. Quick Notes is a way that you can take quick notes, just as the name implies, without having to add them to a certain page or section immediately. You can put the quick notes that you take where you want to include them in your notebook at a later time. You can use OneNotes by going to the OneNote tool and clicking on the new Quick Note button. Or you can get to it by selecting the quick notes from the drop down list from your notebook. Let's open Quick Notes using the Send to OneNote tool. When you do, a little window opens. You can start typing your notes. The cursor is already in place for you. 
However, if you click the dots at the top of the screen, you can also see commands and tools for you to use with Quick Notes. When you're ready to file your Quick Note, you can do so by going to the Pages tab and selecting Move Page. You can then choose whether to move the Quick Note or copy it to another page. You can see the Quick Notes is now appearing where I moved it. When you create notes from a mobile device, the page will go into the unfiled notes that you can find in your personal web notebook on your SkyDrive. Linked notes are notes that are taken in a docked window when one note is docked beside Microsoft Word, Excel or Internet Explorer. Let's learn exactly what that means. First, dock OneNote 2013. You can dock this by using the Quick Access Toolbar as you learned earlier in the course. If you start to take notes, you'll see a message box appear. Once you've read it, you can click OK. If you look at OneNote and click on the notes that you typed, you'll see an icon for the program that you had OneNote docked beside. If you undock OneNote, the notes you typed appear on your page. If you select the note, you'll see the icon again. You can click on the icon and access the program or file that you were working on when the OneNote was docked. If you want to unlink notes, click on the icon in the top right that has link note taking. Click on the drop down and select delete links on this page and then choose what you want to delete, either just for that document or all links on this page. It will then tell you how many links were removed. If you want to see previous versions of pages within your notebook, open the page that you want, then click on the history tab then page versions in the history group. Select page versions from the drop down menu that appears when you click on the page versions button. On the right side of the page where your page list appears, you'll see the dates from the previous versions of your page that existed. Click on the date to view the previous version of that page. Using the page versions button, you can also delete the history for the entire notebook. When you do that, you won't be able to access previous versions anymore. You can also delete all versions in a section. This deletes previous versions in a section of your notebook. Delete all previous versions in a section group. Disable history for the entire notebook so the previous pages won't be stored. Did you know that you can also use OneNote 2013 to do research? You can and it's easy to do. Go to the review tab and click on the research button in the spelling group. You'll then see the research pane appear on the right side of your screen. Type in what you want to research in the search for box. Let's type in coffee. Below the search for box, specify what you want to use to do your research by clicking on the downward arrow. Once you've selected an item, all your results will appear. Now, if you click on any one of these results, a browser window will open where you can see the information on your screen. If you click Research Options at the bottom of the Research pane, you will see this window. If you want to be able to use more reference books, you can put a check mark by the books you want to use. Click OK.